countries, they portray one side, they portray the other side. It's, you know, they say it's, it's terrorism and the Israeli dark terrorists. I mean, as like I said, and I think we all three of us agree, last week, the destruction of 200 people in a concert for peace. Now, what have they ever done to anybody? Okay. We have a right to live, we have a right to be, you know, have children, yes. we have a right to love our family. Absolutely. No matter what faith we are, or what religion we are, we have the right to live a peaceful life, no matter what country we are. What message, what the message of Islam is as well. Yeah. Because yes. I, and I, as I said I, I mentioned earlier, before the Israelis imposed Palestine, they were actually they didn't want an israel state for themselves mm -hmm. you know yeah. it was but it's it's just the, the the narrative has been pushed down on balfour declaration and from that you are aware of those early 1900 balfour declaration because that treaty was a killer and that treaty was a, a significant change in the land of palestine and israel where they are now because that treaty actually instead of bringing peace it makes chaos, corruption, and killing innocent civilians. Look, I condemn both sides. Mm -hmm. we, sh we should not kill any soul. You know, Quran clearly goes that whoever kills a single soul as if he kills entire humanity. And whoever saved, yeah, and whoever saved one soul as if the entire, he saved the entire humanity. Our message is simple and clear. That's we, what, yeah, that's we, we are not, thing, yeah? absolutely. Uh, even in the war field, we have these uh, restrictions of who can we go and kill in, 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 in fighting. So Islam legislated and given us a boundary. So even if we, how we react to the situation, it also been prescribed. So God does not want injustice to, in his land. We are promoting, we are here to promote the justice, morality and ethics. And that should come from godly heavenly law. The problem in this world, or the problem is in this world, is the secularist idea, because you know, so, the secular idea of yeah. living life. Because when you have a godly law absent and you try to formulate or run the countries and the nations through your subjective understanding, you're bound to get full short. That's why, you know, uh, Allah constantly mentioned in the Quran, oh, people do not commit injustice. And, uh, you know, like uh, every Friday in, in the masjid, in the khutbah, every Friday sermon, uh, the Imam reminds everyone and he said one sentence everybody memorized if you ask a single any any even like 10 years old Muslim he will be able to tell you that Allah said Inna Allah, bil adli wal Allah instruct you to do justice Allah's name is Al-Adl Allah's attribute is Al-Adl the one means Allah is telling you I am just so you are my nominee to this world Allah sent Jailum fil Ardi Khalifa. Allah sent as and, a nominee. And, and I think, and we have to. I think if we read the Quran, we read the Bible, whatever religion, it, it, it says the same thing. It says the same but, thing. The words may be different, the position of it may be different, but what we're actually saying is, and as I said to you, um, yourself earlier, we're killing innocent women and children, and, and that is unjust. And as I said, numbers doesn't come into it. And this, this will end, and this will only end with more hundreds and thousands of innocent mothers, fathers, children, grandparents dying in the name of a God or in the name of land. So yeah. no, I, I think the whole whole lands. idea is, look, even, even if you look at uh, the Palestinian, they have so much sabr, which is the patience. You know, they dealt things with very patiently. I mean, if you look at these people, they are uniquely unique people in all around the planet. Because look at that I think their situation. Can be unique. I mean, no, know, I mean, I'm saying in unique. When we're talking about, we don't hear a bomb shell uh, or bomb gun. We are not hearing all those gunfire. Now imagine if you are in a situation of you know your grandfather passed away, your father passed away, your mother passed away, your brother sister passed away by someone your neighbor who is killing you constantly, we would not be saying the way we are saying things now. No, of course not. You see, so it's, it's a matter of perception, how we percept, see things. Because look, as a human being, and John, I respect you that you came out and you feel the way we feel as well, mm -hmm. right? Because you have the care for the humanity. Yes, but at the same time, look, the narrative we need to give it to the media and all over the world, people need to know the truth. 
we cannot just continue and oppress people. I, th I think no matter what the news portrays or what the news says, the truth is in our hands. Yeah. The truth is on the internet. Now, yes, pe people and whatever country, they will show you one side, perhaps, and they will condemn what happened a week ago. Of, of course, we all do. But if we need to and we want to, there's a world wide web where we can all look into it. And uh, yes, you're right. We don't get both sides of every story. I don't yeah. think we ever do. But that's why, that if we want, if we're human beings and we've got some brains in our head, we can look. You know, we can't say, oh, Israel are, are um, innocent, they've done no, done no wrong, they've not killed anyone. That's not the case. Obviously, it is. And this is about numbers. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yes. Both sides don't get portrayed as well as they should do, but if we take up the Bibles or take up the Quran or take up whatever Bible or whatever we look at, it's there in front of us. We can read it. In history, we can read it, or we can go onto the simple internet and read both sides of the story. So maybe that's what we should be telling people, because obviously you're saying... But what would you do, John? Like, imagine if you are in a situation and your brothers, imagine your family. I just wanted to see how you feel about it. Imagine you have your parents, your brothers, your sister living there, and you heard some of them passed away by someone, their neighbor shot them and killed them. How, how would you react? What would you do? Honestly, I've got no idea. How? I don't know. How? What, what, would I want to kill them back? Or would I want to the reason I, I, the reason I would say I, it. What did the Bible say about that? Sorry? Well, Thou shalt not kill. No, like, if someone, something like that happened, what, what, you should, what, what should you do, like, something like that happened? Was it saying in the Bible? Yeah. Well, it said we shall not kill. Two yeah, eye for an eye for the truth. Not something like that happened. Oh, I understand what you're saying, but I, no one can, you know, what would you what, what would you do? Would you take up arms and kill the person who killed your family? Is, no, so how? What is, is the practical advice? Is that, like, again, again, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about practical advice or, or what I would do or what I would From do. your end, like... i got no idea what I would do. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do. Would I want them to be, would I want to get them killed? I'd want justice. Mm -hmm. But it's never happened. Would I want to kill them? That may happen. I yeah, don't know like what my mind John, I don't think anyone can actually John is say like the process, you know. We, we are lucky enough. Like, for example, to be, our... To be in a country that hasn't got these atrocities right. going on. That's like, so, for our process, John, as a Muslim living in the West, our duty is to aware people. We try to uh, communicate through our social media to government and you know raise our voice and ensure them they they ensure them they uh, work under the democratic law the system that you should not oppress anyone right the laws are in place but even our political people are violating so we need to make sure aware them in our best ability to make sure them they don't do it but as a christian community would you say your community should also stand up and speak out uh, speak out uh, against this issue I think we all have the right to stand out and talk about whatever, words are words. Words cannot kill you. And we have every right, yes, as a Christian, yes, I will stand up for my beliefs, I will stand up for my family, but will I take arms to another one? Does the, does the Bible, does the Quran say we, should, we, can, we can just discriminately go out and kill innocent women and children? You both explain to me. You said in the Quran, it says you're allowed to protect your mother, your father, your grandparents, your children. Yeah, this is in the Hadith, yeah, so... Yeah. And in the like, war situation, yeah. even in war situation, just in war situation, it's not the exchange of rose flower between them. Mm. War situation is someone is coming to kill you. If you don't kill him, he will kill you. Or even that situation, Islam clearly promoting and keeping the human rights in check by making exception that do not kill baby, do not kill children, do not cut food behind him, do not kill monk. But you know, we can, we, we could, we could, I mean, we were talking, you were talking about the news and the news telling both sides. We can turn, we turn on the telly yesterday, we can see that's not the case. We can see the news doesn't particularly give 100% to both sides, but you can see what you just said, that's not true. I think Women and honest, children on both sides are dying. No, I, I think, John, I think if we say both sides, and I, will, I mean, if we look at the process, and as you, as you mentioned the number, if you look at the process from last hundred in years, and if you look at the repetition of killing by everyday Palestinian, now we're talking about one incident and comparing what with last 80 or 90 years of constant every day, every day someone 
who's doing breakfast and someone killed next to them. And we're talking about repetition of a century. That cannot even co-equate between these two groups. It's clearly a clear oppression going on one group. Clearly, it clearly signifies. And yet, I see the position of uh, the political parties. And this is so sad to see. I, think John, I, I don't know, you know, the narrative. And I don't know, maybe you can look it up. Uh, the, if you look at uh, Balfour Declaration, and since that, Al Jazeera made some documentary about the Palestine, and many, many documentaries, even many non-Muslims, they made documentaries about Palestine and what's going on for the last hundred years. And I think maybe you can look at your look it up those videos, educate about educate about this situation because it's particularly important, John. Why I tell you because. As if like the media portraying, oh, both sides is killing. It's not actually the case. The case is clearly one party is suffering in the hand of another party. Now, if you constantly... Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. So, what we, I think what, what you're saying is one side is killing another side and the other side are losing life. I mean, you said we could go back 70, 80, 100 years. No, no. Yes, we possibly, we possibly could. But again, we didn't have the news, we didn't have media, we didn't yeah. have my world back. No, look. I mean, we, we can't sit here, stand here and correct, say correct. that one side overruled another side, or one side lost more life than, than another I'll side. I'll tell you, I'll tell and you, John. we can't John. say that we are, um, one side is wrong or one side is not wrong. At the end of the day, what's happening and what's been happening over a hundred odd years is, as I said, and I said half an hour ago, innocent women and children are being killed for the sake of a god, their god, or land. Yeah. And that's that's where I, no, I, I stand. It's very simple. You know I'm not a politician. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm not educated yeah. to all that extent in the Quran or even my, even my own faith. What I'm saying to you is where we are now, over 100 years, has anyone learned anything? Yeah, I mean, look, has John, John, John we, we see you as a very nice person, honestly. Oh, okay. um, and <laughs> and uh, we see you, you are gauging. But my understanding is, this is a matter of our education. And I'll tell you, I'll give you a small history behind. You know, if, sir? Before that, like, yeah, you mentioned that we are not, even in war, we are not allowed to enforce anyone to believe what we believe. You know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Not, yeah. Of course. Uh, Allah mentioned the la ikraha fi din. There is no compulsion in religion. So we are not allowed to force our belief to someone else. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we this are is. not killing anyone for the sake of God. You know? yeah. No, no, no. no. Ex exactly. Yeah. Now. Here, the question is Gaza, and if you look at the, the border of the Palestine and the occupied land within that, these have actually been a, a, is, is a, a place which is surrounded by the Israelis, and there is no aid is not going through. Yep, I, like, yep. this is the most condensed people living. Even their water is 97% polluted, yeah. right? And now, what kind of humanitarian crisis you will not be able to believe until and unless you go to Islamic Relief and all those charity organizations, they're going there and supplying it. Even aid is restricted. Yes, I've, and, I've and look, that the, I cannot think of any situation or anyone in the in the human planet that they are going through the similar crisis than Palestinians. It is no way possible. So the, we need to see that even their food, shelter, everything has been as if like, in your own country, you don't have any freedom. Just imagine your own home has been forcefully taken. Your own family has forcefully taken. Where we are in, in this world? Like, where is the justice? You know, sometimes I feel like the word justice may be wiped out from the dictionary. Honestly, this is why I feel. This is my honest take, John. And that's why I say, maybe, Brother John, you're a very sincere person. Look it up. Look it up post Balfour Declaration. And even if we look back to religious understanding we even go back to the uh, abraham's time abraham when was buried he never had a land so abraham didn't learn, uh, give any land to any any son so like ishmael is is an uh, arab and uh, his mother is arab and uh, ishaq is from uh, from Bani israel with the, uh, uh, the mother is from the, uh, from the from the israel side so what we are talking about is, even if we go back to the history, back 2,000, 3,000 year time, 
actually only 3% indigenous Jew, they used to live there. Now they wanted to make their own land. How can you justify 3% people living and comparing to 100%, 97% indigenous people, Palestinian Arab living there? This is like history is something has been forgotten. And to be yeah, honest, and this, yeah. this is not given to the uh, uh, normal people that, you know, and media will never able to tell you because okay. it will be a counter narrative for that. That's why that's why I make a point in this way. Uh, yeah. I said if you read uh like any like Quran and others, you're gonna see a more understanding about the situation. So the media say some yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, if you say you already know the knowledge, you're not going to believe them. John, it was a pleasure talking to you. But you look, look it up, my brother. I will. I will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and uh, have you ever read Quran, by the way? I'm going to go and get an English version now. Let me give you. Okay. Why don't you take from us? Uh, because, okay. yeah, yeah. And this is like the common question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, uh, you know, like, uh, let me show you something, right? For example, if you go to chapter 4, yeah? Let's say we are talking about those things. Uh, John. You know, the Quran is... Uh, I was revealed over 1400 years ago, but it's every single lie, uh, every single this is re relevant today, you know? Yeah. Oh, you who believed, be persistently stand firm in justice, witness for Allah, even if it is be against yourself. Okay, and for sick or parents and relatives, whether one is rich or poor, Allah is more worthy of both. So follow not your personal inclination. So do not follow your hawa, the desire, desire. Lest, not, lest you not be just. And if you want, distort your testimony. So even when you are in, in, in terms of providing evidence, do not distort your testimony or refuse to give it. Indeed, Allah is ever what you do and aware. Allah is khabir. He is watching every step of the action you are taking. And Allah is saying, your return, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi you, you are from Allah and you return to Allah. And Allah will ask everyone in the day of judgment, accountability, that how did you earn money? How did you spend money? Why did you kill those innocent people? So in Islam, we believe there is a day of judgment. And this place is not like Allah is not killing someone to forgive someone. Every individual will be... Uh, Every individual judged by their own action. And Allah said, and and, uh, Again, that's what, that's what our Bible believe. We heaven and hell. Mm. So yes, there'd be a judgment day. And again, yeah, so much the words in the Bible and the, the words yeah. that you're saying in the front, they're saying the same thing. Yeah. Um, I think that's uh, the difference is here. We don't believe in Trinity. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you talk about the Quran, like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so basically, uh, Brother John, uh, just give you a, a small brief about Quran. What we believe in this Quran is the verbatim word of God, not this translation, mm -hmm. the Arabic. Yeah. The actual verbatim word that Angel Gabriel uh, came with this message from Allah, the Creator, and Prophet memorized it. And this same memorization of the Quran of Prophets has been passed down to the generation. And it's preserved its entirety with meticulous preservation as if like if you check uh if you wanted to check this quran like maybe if you can go to any country pick a children from seven eight years old he will be memor he can recite you the whole quran yeah, yeah. without seeing it yeah. but if you ask him if you ask him about how are you he would not be able to tell you so he doesn't even know the conversational english yet he memorized the book yes. and that is one of the divine wisdom of god allah said in the quran Allah made Quran easy for remembrance and, yeah, yeah. and also a guide for humanity. Brother, you know, John, we also believe like Jesus Christ is a messenger of God. God sent messengers and show them miracle so that the community can believe he is indeed from God. So Allah said, you know, uh, uh, Allah mentioned in the Quran that warned them those who say Allah has a son. So Allah said, how can I have a son when I don't have a wife? Yeah. You see, so the concept of Islam is, is the concept of Adam, concept of Abraham, concept of Noah, believe and worship the same God. And Prophet Muhammad didn't come with a new message. He came with a message that already been declared by their 
just a confirmation. Pre previous, yeah, he is the confirmation. And, he, and, and the Quran, yeah, uh, and Quran, a, a book called Muhaymin, means an authority of the previous books. We, we believe the other books are not been preserved just the way Quran is preserved. So therefore, Allah needs to send a guidance so that it can clarify what people are confusion about. You know, people are confusion about, did Jesus die for my sin? Or am I be accountable? So Allah clarified that, I have created life and death so that, you know, I can test you. And mankind and jinkan will be tested. Yeah. And uh, the oneness of God, yeah. they like emphasize it. In yeah, yeah, so like, yeah. Like, over, over time, you know, over again, said Allah, God is one in there. Yeah, the even Bible like John, you know, you know, John, look it up, brother John, if you go home, John 17, 3 and 4, where when Jesus Christ clearly explained who the true God is. So when we look at the Christianity, I find two types of belief here. One party who believes those Jesus Christ, if you look at all the clear verses in the Bible, you will find Jesus Christ is a purely a monotheistic prophet means he is believing one God, worshipping the same God. He always, because yes, he was fasting, he, he was circumcised on the eighth he, day. He, he prays for God, he, yeah. he put his thing yeah. on, on the ground, yeah. just like we do. So we pray, mm. just like, oh, Jesus is upon him. Yeah. And, and now, if you look at the Pauline teaching, which is completely different, he is coming to tell you, you know, you don't have to follow the law. You don't have to do all the things Jesus did, right? Now, that's not the message of Jesus, that's the false message. But again, same time, we don't believe and Paul never met even Jesus. He saw the vision. You know, anyone can say, see any vision. Vision doesn't make it correct. And, and the, a prophet is someone who approved by God. How? Through miracle, through his character, and all of those things when you apply it. And if you know he is a prophet, then you can accept and uh, accept the testimony of the message. So therefore, what we say in Islam, that Jesus Christ indeed is a messenger of God, and he was a Muslim, more, by action and by faith. And his mission more than Prophet Muhammad in the Quran, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I think the, the idea is, is a misconception here. The, he was named by name, he was mentioned more than 25 times he was mentioned. But Prophet Muhammad may, by name, he was mentioned four times. But in terms of pronoun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prophet of Allah, yeah, Nabi of Allah, yeah, 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 yeah. with pronoun, he was mentioned more than anyone else. So, Look, all the prophets and messengers' name was mentioned. There is a reason why. Allah bring the story of Noah. Allah bring the story of Abraham. And why Allah is revealing all those stories? So that it telling you, O Prophet, that you know the mission you are in, telling to people to oneness of Allah, the same your brothers in faith, Abraham, goes to the similar. So don't, end of the day, those prophets are human beings. Sometimes they got fed up. And, and, uh, in, in one place, uh, uh, the Quran mentioned فَلَا عَلَّكَ بَاحَيُ النَّفْسَكَ عَلَى So, uh, sorry, that you wanted to kill yourself in grief. Not me like, yeah. is a rhetorical way, yeah? Kill yourself in grief. Because they are not listening to your message. So the same way, prophets, all the previous prophets, Allah gave an example of the stories of the prophet in the Quran. Yeah, they they, they gone through the similar process. And be steadfast, don't lost hope. And Allah said, you know, don't lost hope in receiving mercy from God. Indeed, if you receive, wait for it, you know, you will receive mercy of Allah. You know? Yes. John, it was a pleasure. To, do you have any question? Because, you know, we have so much to share with you. But, you know, time, you know, you have short term. Yeah. Thank you for this. Yeah. But it was a pleasure talking to you, John. Look after yourself, you know. And you have a, yeah, look after yourself. John, um, a sincere brother, and uh, we've given him um, some understanding of the real issue happening in Palestine and Israel. And, you know, look, we ask for justice to be prevailed. We ask, we hope that no innocent uh, life lost, you know. We are here for peace. Allah clearly telling in the Quran that be just and do not cross the limit. Don't oppress people. Help one another. Help one another in good. That do not transgress and do not help one in uh, another one in transgression. So, on this note, you know, I hope uh, John taken a good message about Islam. May Allah guide him to Islam. May Allah open his eye to see the truth. Zakmullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.